Good afternoon, everybody who's joining us over Zoom for the pre-match press conference ahead of Scotland's game against Pakistan in Sharjah tomorrow. Present today with us is the captain, Kyle Kutzer, who's had a fantastic tournament so far. And um, just a polite reminder for everyone who is joining us today that this is a Zoom-only press conference which means that we will go over your questions and you'll have to use the raise the hand function on the app. And uh, just a cue to everybody who's joined us now, if there are any questions, please use the function right now. Gary? Yeah, hi, Kyle. Um, yeah, just looking ahead to tomorrow's game, obviously, uh, you know, uh, Baba and Rizwan as an opening partnership for Pakistan. Can you just give give some thoughts on those two players? Yeah, what a challenge we're going to be faced with, uh, and a, an exciting one as well. Two two players on the top of their game at the moment, so it'll be be great to experience that and and hopefully try and knock a few of them over at the same time. Um, yeah, we we have to we have to go in there respecting them, but also willing to go and try and take them on too. So uh, we've, I think we've taken a few learnings from our last couple of games and, and some really special learnings from yesterday's game. Yeah, and, and do you feel the guys have got enough left in the tank for just sort of one more one more last effort? Yeah, definitely. There's, we've got plenty left in the tank yet in this group. Uh, we had had a tough experience yesterday, but I, I, I firmly believe having to go through that and go through some of these performances out here to realise how how far and how much further the T20 format has developed, even since the time that we last played in it, which was 2016, I think. And and we didn't manage to get through the group stages then, but we did this time round. So we show that our development is is there, and um, but the development of the game is is uh, is moving at us an amazing rate. And just the conversations following the, the game yesterday versus India have been, been positive. The fact that we're so disappointed in losing the manner in which we did and the opportunities that were created to go and speak to some of the finest players in the world yesterday was a real special moment. The, the, guys, are, the guys have learned more in the last two or three games than they have in probably the last three, three four years, I reckon. Yeah, you mentioned that obviously the <clears throat> the Indian players were chatting to you guys afterwards. Was that quite a nice uh, time to spend with them? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, I think guys have had small opportunities to speak to various players um, from various teams uh, during this tournament, but it's been made a little bit harder by the not being able to mix as easily in this this tournament. So that's just one of the challenges that we faced with but the opportunity to go and, and speak to the, the the Indian team yesterday was, was a moment that some guys will probably never forget but also learn so much from you know you've got young players in there like Michael Jones getting the chance to speak to Rohit Sharma and, and Virat Kohli and um, you know there's some amazing names obviously in there and we've got to find ways to to raise our bar and, and try and compete with them as best as we possibly can in, in the future like hopefully it, that's the first time we've ever played India on, a, on the world stage. So hopefully we, we won't have to wait that long to play them again, but I'm confident that we'll, we'll grow from this experience. That's great. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Malhar, you're next. Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, Kyle. I uh, hope you're well. Um, it, it, it seemed that the top order hasn't really uh, quite clicked in unison uh, in the Super 12s, but there were signs, uh, there were encouraging signs against uh, New Zealand and what do you put it down to and how crucial has it been having Jonathan Trott as a batting consultant for this tournament? Yeah, uh, well obviously having Trotty with us um, prior to the World Cup was was really helpful you know, gaining some experience from him, some of his uh, challenges that he's faced as a, as a cricket player and, and just small insights here and there, he was fantastic to have around um, Yes, the, the batting group hasn't fired uh, since the since getting out through the group stage, but leading up to that, the the batting group had done done brilliantly. So it's clear to see that 
the levels have have improved uh, and what we've noticed is not only has batting been tricky in this tournament uh, because of conditions I'm not saying that the, the people can't score runs because that, that has certainly happened in a few games but the the standard and the skills and the plans that bowlers come out with now have developed uh, so far since the last time we've we've played in this this world stage so we have to experience that and and take it in and try and learn as, as fast as we can um if we're going to continue thinking about the game yes we think in a positive manner but if we're going to continue thinking about the game in which the way we do we're going to fall 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 behind uh, but there's there's lots of skill amongst this group so um the learnings we'll take from these these uh these games are going to be huge. Um, yes, we haven't performed where we'd like to, but I think I think we've been shown up sometimes by the skills on show. Yeah, and uh, final game tomorrow. Uh, what's your what's your message to the squad? Yeah, I guess we've got to make sure we we go in there with as much confidence as we possibly can do. Uh, we've got one last one last show, one last crack of the whip. While we're out here, we're not going to play together for a, a long period of time now. We're not going to play together until April, probably. Uh, so, you know, we've got to make every opportunity of every game that we get. And, you know, what better game to play and what better team to play against than, than Pakistan, who are at the top of their game at the moment. That That is just uh, an ultimate test uh, and to challenge yourself against them. So, look, we go in there with um, as much enjoyment as much freedom as we possibly can and trying to uh, uh, make the most of make the most of the opportunity look we've got some skills skills that we haven't yet shown i think in the super 12 so tomorrow's a, the last chance we get to show them and just on a lighter note kyle uh, from your instagram it seemed as if you were keen to roll your arm over yesterday uh, is that is that something that we might see tomorrow <laughs> no, i was a, i was a little bit on the wind up wind up with that but uh, um yeah, bowling in the in early April in, in England and Scotland is very different to turning up to try and bowl at Sharjah. So I might give that a miss. But yeah, if if I ever did get the chance to bowl, obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn it down. I love my bowling, but um, not quite at this level. We've got the proper bowlers in our team to do the job. <laughs> uh, all the best for tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you, Malhar. Um, any more questions from the group here? Gary, was that from the last time, or do you have another question? Yeah, sorry, that was from the last time. Okay, no worries. So I have a question for you, Kyle. Staying on the lighter note, if you look back, um, what were your high points of the tournament for Scotland as a group? Anything you'd like to share with us? Yeah, the we've had we've had some great memories on this on this trip so far. We've hopefully still got a few more to to be made. Uh, the experience of um, playing under pressure, which which we're not uh, short of playing under pressure experience, but uh, having to compete and win the games in Oman in the first group stage. Oman was, a, was an excellent venue and they hosted the, the, that group stage very well. Uh, and getting through that, I think the context of uh, beating Bangladesh for us was, uh, you know, the context around that of it being in a world event was a huge moment for this team. We've beaten, we've beaten full member teams before, but the, like I said, the context around that made that even more special. Uh, and then coming up against a really strong Oman team and a must win game. Uh, so ultimately we had to win all three of our games to make sure we got through to Super 12. So that was a, a, a great achievement. But um, I think the one of the best experiences and what I think players will learn most out of is having the opportunity to try and mix with as many of these players from some of these these uh, top nations has, has been very special. And that moment going into the Indian dressing room yesterday was a real, real highlight, I think, for for us and a few of our uh, and and our team. Because I I honestly believe what we spoke about in that dressing room will uh, leave us in a much better place. I think players have learned far more just from that twenty minutes than what we have done in a few years. I think we're learning all the time, but those moments, they're like gold uh, and you need to make the most of those. So yeah, a huge thank you to the, the Indian team for that. That was a really special moment. 
Fantastic. And here's hoping you have many more such moments uh, aside from the one tomorrow, the big game tomorrow. All the best from all of us at the ICC. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers.